Hello, in this video I shall demonstrate how to create an autoloader using the SPL autoload register function. I will include a link in the description to this video that points to a GitHub repo where you can go and grab the code if you want. Now a common file structure for an application is to have each class in an individual file with the class name matching the file name and include them files wherever you need them. And while this may be okay for a small application, and even then it's questionable, as an application grows in size, this quickly becomes very inefficient. The reason being is that every time you add a new class, you need to make sure that you include it anywhere you would like to use it. And an application can quickly become hard to manage. A much better solution is to have the classes autoloaded whenever you need them. And this is what I shall demonstrate now. The SPL autoload register function accepts an anonymous function as its argument or you can create a named function and pass the name in but for this tutorial I will use an anonymous function set up some variables now This function will check that the prefix class or the prefix variable I mean and the beginning of the class variable match if they do not then it returns here and the reason for this check is to make sure that the class belongs to the correct namespace Next, I want to get the path to the class starting from the app folder. Finally, I want to check that the file exists. And if it does, I will require it. Now I think that's it. And now I'll just change this to include the bootstrap file instead of the class files. And as long as there isn't any typos, that should work. Yep, that's worked correctly. I'll just go over the code quickly. We have to include the two classes here. Each contain a construct function, which just prints a string. Then we have the autoload function. We have the bootstrap file, which just includes the autoload function. And then we have the index.php file, which sets up the bootstrap file and instantiates the classes. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd be very appreciative if you could like and share the video and I'd be even more grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you, bye.